Martin. And Tetevano goes without it. Another groan from the south stand. And here's Jake Mamo. Mamo thinking about an offload. He does offload and gives it to Mahe Fanua. Mahe Fanua taking him on. Backs aside one. Backs aside two. What a run from Mahe Fanua that was. was so powerful, isn't he, Mahe Fanua? And getting caught up here. There's a penalty. There's a penalty. We're going to see the first points of the game here. And that was in their victory against St Helens. 30 points to 10. Can he make it four for the season? Yes, he can. Second off. It's been predominantly the Castleford Tigers and the Castleford Tigers with Jake Mamo. And Mamo is going to get the first try of the game. Myla, but Mamo salutes the supporters. The supporters salute Mamo. And the Castleford Tigers strike from deep. With that penalty a few moments ago. And he extend the Castle of Tigers lead from the sideline. The salt supporters behind those posts tell you that that is on target as well. Cameron Smith on it goes to Oletsky. Oletsky to Caesar. Now there's the opportunity. It's with Sutcliffe. Liam Sutcliffe back on the inside and Myler is tackled. Myler tackled by the excellent Kane Rob. Oletsky. Oletsky straightens up, looking to offload, but Jake Mamo is in there, getting in the face. They're offside. Well, that last ditch effort from Cass keeps them in this game, and that scoreboard intact as well. Yeah. Offside, yeah, these Rhinos have got to keep the ball yeah. going here. Kicking tees, come on. I've just got to ask that question, what do they do here? For, for me, you kick the goal. You give yourself an opportunity, otherwise you've got to score two more tries. Well, he's wow. just changed it now, he's just changed it, hasn't he, Cruz Lehman? Yeah, message came on from the sidelines. And the kicking tee was presented, and Reese Martin, who, well, he's going to kick this, because he just doesn't miss. 33 consecutive kicks for him. Not a miss since the game against the Catholic Tigers. Have they got anything left in the tank? That's the question. Where are they going to find the energy from? Jake Mamos never seems Look, to be short of energy. Yeah, and I'll be just playing in them outside channels and then looking for the sideline on the last play. They don't have to be over expansive here and force the pass. They're the ones who were in control on the scoreboard. And just over five minutes work to go. Close the game out. Here is McShane. McShane, though, kicks straight down the middle of the field. And it sits up nicely for Myler. And Myler then lobs it to Hardacre. Hardacre cuts back in field. And Hardacre is away. He's got Leeming in, Leeming in support this time. He gives the ball to Leeming. Leeming will go towards the sticks. And Leeming will get the try. The South Stem celebrates, Headingley celebrates, Leeds get it right, Leeming salutes, and Rowan Smith is off his feet. Well, I think there's so much frustration for Lee Radford with the finish of that set. As Tess said, you know, that ball should have been in the pockets and put it down the sidelines. Instead, you know, they've kicked it to open field. When you've got somebody like Zach Hardacre running against a tight defence, Great support from uh, from Cruz leaving there, too quick. And leads back in the game. I was looking at Jake Mamo, and as soon as this break is made here from Zach Hardaker, Jake Mamo's body language was more or less a, are you kidding? Are you kidding? We've held them out for this long, and then we concede a simple try. All we had to do, kick it into the corner, defend that set. We didn't want to put ourselves under pressure. Well, I'll tell you what now, it is game on. And this kick coming up, there's the celebration. Scores level. Back on. Briscoe. Coming up to the final minute of this contest, will Leeds manage to get themselves into range to try for a one-pointer? And who would it be? Myla. Here's Matt Pryor. Aidan Caesar. 
or Blake Austin. They've got options. They have got options. Alevsky's given them a better option. They won't need it. They're not going to need it because Caesar's going to get the try. Caesar's going to win this one. Hail Caesar, say the lead supporters. Jubilation at Headingley. Heartbreak for the Castleford Tigers and their coach. The final minute of the game. Leeds, who hadn't been able to put a passing move together. Incredible. Incredible. You know, they looked out, they looked out 15 minutes ago. We were talking about Castleford and Castleford progressing in the playoffs. And all of a sudden, big Mikhail Letsky goes through. Richie Milan doing what he does best, pushing up support. And Aidan Caesar, well, he got the match winner in Catalan in extra time. This doesn't manage to get to extra time, but it's that man Caesar back in the side after serving a ban, and he's the one who looks like he's sending Lee Rhinos through. Wow, it's, it's a cruel game, Ted, isn't it? You know, I think just Casper just absolutely out on the feet there. This to make it 36 in a row. And he called Mason Lee no record. He's on target, and Leeds belatedly are on target for the playoffs. But what an effort from the Castleford Tigers to take them all yeah, this way. Absolutely outstanding. The effort from Lee Radford, men. He's going to be proud. He gave him a directive. I want you to go up there and I want you to compete. Well, Castle have certainly done that. And let me tell you, this whole ground. If you were in a Leeds Rhinos jersey, you're a Woody, Woody fan. And Roman Smith knows maybe they've got away with one there.